Do you need the gym to grow your booty? No. Okay. Hey, Coach Ashley here with Vanya, and we were just discussing that you really don't need a gym to grow your booty. And we were talking about some of our favorite movements that we can do at home. I mean, being a parent myself, I don't necessarily always have the time to go to the gym. So it's nice to have some little things in my back pocket I can do at home to make sure my booty stays juicy and round. And I know you're looking for a juicy round booty too. And hey, if you haven't already, go ahead and check out. I actually have a five minute quick free workout for you specifically for that booty. And guess what? It's gonna be Vanya and I again. Clearly we love the booty and we like to save our time while we're trying to get to our goals. So go ahead, click that pin comment below, get your free workout. And we're gonna go ahead and show you a few different movements that you can do as well. Okay, so you really don't need a gym to grow your booty. And these are some of our favorite movements that we do at home to make sure our butt is staying nice and round and plump. Okay, so actually we just grabbed a chair and that's all you need. A chair, maybe a couch. A couch would probably be a little bit more unsteady. So I would encourage you maybe finding a harder surface versus squishier. And we're gonna go over three different movements. We have the hip thrust, the lateral, the lateral step down, as well as a step up. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with our hip thrust. So as you find your chair, you wanna make sure the bottom of your shoulder blades are actually uh, on top of the chair and you don't want the chairs in to be on the shoulder blades. You're gonna make sure your feet are hip width apart and your heels are directly underneath the knee, dropping your hips down, getting the full extension of the glute hamstring and Vanya's gonna drive up, keeping her core tight. The tighter the core is, the tighter the glutes are. The looser the core is, the tighter your back is. All right, so drop right back down. I'll we'll show you one more time. Dropping, lengthening the glutes, you'll feel that good stretch. And then we're driving right back up and notice her core gets tight and her glutes are tight as well. All right, our second movement that we like to do at home without a gym is gonna be our lateral step down. So step down is different than a step up. We actually have to start at the top of the movement. I'm gonna shift you this way and we're gonna put this foot up here, opposite foot. Hey, there we go. And since it's a step down, she has to start at the top, right? All right, so start at the top of the movement. So she's starting here and she's gonna slightly reach this foot backwards, getting that full lengthening of the glute on the opposite leg that's on the chair. And there we go, step down. It's a step down because she has to focus slowly stepping down. You can't just release your body, right? So just do a quick step down, just release your body at the top and just step off the chair. That's not what you wanna look like. You wanna go slow. So come back up to the top. At the start of the movement, now she's slowly reaching, getting that lengthening and driving right back up. And our last movement is gonna be a step up. So she starts at the ground and she's placing her entire foot on the chair. And from ball to ball, she's gonna step up to that on that chair. All the way up and right back down. Again, lengthening, lengthening that, that glute and hamstring, the booty and the hamstring that ties into the booty and really getting that full glute activation. One more, there we go, awesome. Okay, and these are just a few of our favorite movements that you can do outside of the gym to grow your booty. And if you are limited on time, do not forget I have just given you a free five minute workout in the pinned comments below featuring Vanya and I. Check it out, don't forget, give us a thumbs up, get your free workout, we'll see you next time.